briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2009, the United States District Court for the Northern District of Ohio heard the case of Byers v. Lincoln Electric Company. Eddie Byers, a welder from Texas and Alabama, sued nine manufacturing companies, including Lincoln Electric, Hobart Brothers, and ESAB, claiming that they failed to warn him about the dangers of inhaling welding rod fumes. Byers alleged that he suffered permanent neurological injury from inhaling manganese fume from these welding rods and was diagnosed with manganese-induced Parkinsonism, rendering him unable to work as a welder. The court presiding over this case determined that Texas law should apply, as it focuses on the location where a dangerous product is used when deciding which laws are applicable. The case was part of a multi-district litigation and went to trial in November 2008. The court granted summary judgment to defendants BOC, TDY, Union Carbide, Eutectic, Sandvik, and Westinghouse due to insufficient evidence on causation, while denying summary judgment for Lincoln, Hobart, and ESAB. For the latter three defendants, Byers provided enough information to satisfy the frequency regularity proximity test, allowing a reasonable jury to determine if each defendant was responsible for a substantial amount of Byers' total exposure to manganese fume. Due to this, the case proceeded to trial for Lincoln, Hobart, and ESAB. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.